Hey y'all, hey y'all. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. I had just finished up a live in another group and I needed to um, inhale a little dinner. So I apologize for being a few minutes off. I'm going to give everybody um, a little bit of time to come on. I usually like to get four or five people on here at least before I start. I'll chit chat right now. Only because after this is over, people may want to rewatch the live. So if you go up to the top left corner of this live, you'll be able to um, fix your settings for new lives. If you want to watch those, you'll get alerted when they come on. Okay. Um, I do convert all of my lives over to YouTube. Y'all, I'm not trying to get famous or nothing like that. But a lot of people can't find them later. So they'll be on YouTube as Bridget Reese. You don't have to subscribe, but if you want to watch them again, you'll know where to find them, okay? Um, I love, love, love Miss Yvonne and her group. I wanted you to know she has a great group of admins, very talented ladies. Like, I am humbled to even be here. Um, especially working with mica powders because let me tell you there there's tricks to the trade with mica powders and some of these curls are amazing like I get on here all the time when Candace is on because she does the molds and I like to do molds but I'm not good at molds like as a perfectionist so when I see she's on I am I am with it okay wow hey Miss Kim how are you I'm glad you're joining me and Mercedes Sharon hey I'm so glad to see some people I know. I, it's been a while. It absolutely has. But um, we're back and we're, we're going to get busy and stay busy. we got about 22 people watching. So I don't want to bore y'all to death with me just talking. I appreciate all the prayers and things that people have sent me. We've been through some stuff. My husband had COVID. Then he had surgery. and just uh, I had surgery in October and got a blood clot. There's just so many things that have happened in the last couple months. But God is good. And we are here. I'm a blessed, blessed lady. I hope y'all are, um, by, by all means, 100% more than me even, okay? Hey, Miss Patricia. Hey, Sharon. All right, here, we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you what we got and what we're going to do. When the live is over, I'll put all the, the items that I used in picture form, and I'll tag you in the link where I got everything, okay? And that way, you'll know exactly what we used, and there won't be any surprises. Hey, Miss Patricia. I had an aunt and an uncle that lived in New York. One was at... In Manhattan, and the other one was on Fire Island. But I'm from the South. I'm born in Michigan. <laughs> All right, Miss Ashley. Hey. Hey, Ladina. I'm glad you're back with us. All right, guys, listen. The only reason I'm using this tumbler and not Yvonne's tumbler, and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, is I have used all of her tumblers. I had a, I think I've ordered a small amount of tumblers from her because I was running like, I had like a whole wall full of tumblers over here. But, um, I'm using a built tumbler, but I want y'all to know that Miss Yvonne has a company. It's called Y, the letter N, and then D, tumblers. Okay, she sells her own tumblers. But if you go to her page, the Mycomania page, which I'll have listed, she sells everything there together. Okay, so we're going to be using just for this. I'm so happy to see you back doing lives again. Hey, Miss Kim, y'all got two foot of snow, Miss Patricia. That's a lot of snow. Hey, Vicki. All right, guys, this is just a built tumbler. I can't remember, honestly, if I got this at Target or Walmart. It's a 40 ounce, okay? It looks like a 30 ounce, but this is a 40 ounce tumbler. It's a big tumbler. Um, only reason I grabbed it is I'm trying to get away from the built tumblers, and I'll tell you why. This is just personal mm -hmm. preference. If you use glitter, it doesn't matter, but built has this raised edge right here, and if you're doing other things, sometimes it shows through, okay? So I'm doing these. I'm going to take this to a craft fair. This isn't truly in order, but she had some beautiful colors that I've been wanting to use. And I experiment all the time. If things don't exactly work out the way I like them to, I put them in a big old box. And then once a month, I strip everything. So if this turns out great, that's perfect. If it doesn't turn out great, just realize we're doing crafts, guys. We do make money make, you know, selling our tumblers. But if you make a mistake, you can always turn it into a peekaboo. You can strip it for about a dollar you know, outside of the cost of what you got in it. So don't be afraid to try something new. I know a lot of these people's names I see up here. Um, there's Miss Kim. I think I already said hey, but hey again. Um, don't be afraid to try something. Like, I talked about Candace, and I'll just give you her for an instance. I bought the mold tray for the three-tier, like, cupcake thing. I don't know why I don't do events. Like, we just have cookouts. So I didn't need it. 
But she did one one day, and I was like, I'm going to make one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to make one. She made it look so easy. Well, I got it. It was a disaster. I was, it was really bad. <laughs> it was really bad. But you know what? I learned a lot from it. So, never be afraid to learn, okay? So, we're going to get going. Here we go. 40 ounce built tumbler. Walmart or Hobby Lot, uh, Walmart or Target, I'm not real sure. I took this tumbler and I sanded it. And what I mean by sanding and prepping, so I took me a sanding block. You can use sandpaper. You can use final sand. If you haven't seen that product, they're from DIY Epoxy. It's amazing. You rub the product on. You just rub it around with your fingers or a, a, a scotch Bright pad or whatever. You can use scotch Bright to actually prep too. But you put it on, you wash it off, and it's ready. Okay, all I did was sand these and then I painted it this light purple. Now, I've got a couple spots that have rubbed because I had it sitting over in the corner but because I've been wanting to do this cup. The reason I chose purple, okay, and this is really important. I'm always afraid to try things. Erica, never, ever be afraid to try things. I tell people if you're watching the live, if you have any questions, you're doing something, you're really just a little bit unsure or you're, you're, not, you're just not quite there with it, text me. Okay, you can send me a private message. I'm usually really good about getting back to them. I'm usually up really late. And when I say late, I mean like one or two in the morning. The only time I don't respond is when I have my grandchildren. And today is a Tuesday and I have no grandchildren, which is a miracle because I usually have at least two every day, if not more. Okay, my husband's out of work too right now. I told you about him having surgery. So sometimes when I have him, I have, he has my undivided attention. So just remember if I'm a little slow texting you back, it's just because I'm preoccupied, but I'll get to you. Don't be afraid. That's the most important. Now, when I was telling you about the color, the reason I chose purple, you can actually do micas on, I got a white cup over here for another live I'm going to do. Got a white tumbler, which would be perfectly fine. But let me explain something. I'm looking up here. I'm going to grab a tumbler for you because I want you to see something that I did that didn't turn out the way I liked it, but I have not gotten rid of it, okay? I usually don't get up during tutorials, but I want you to see this, and I apologize. So, this was a tumbler that I started for my son, okay? My son wanted a glow-in-the-dark tumbler. Didn't care what it looked like, and he had some things he wanted to put on it. These are all glow-in-the-dark mica powders that I got from Avon's page. The stuff you see that's blank here, that's glow-in-the-dark. But this was a white cup. Now, it may not be a big deal to you, but do you see how mica powders typically do not set on the rim? Okay. Hey, Miss Betty. And they do not go to the top. So, this cup, I could get away with a white cup because I am going to use one of her white mica powders. But, if I had thought about it better, I may have painted it this red or this blue so that it didn't look like there was so much white. It almost looks like something bad happened, okay? Still usable, still a great cup. I'm still making it for him. I've been working on it a while, but orders kind of take precedence sometimes, okay? So if you do paint your cup, try and pick a color that's close to the colors you're gonna use, okay? Now all the products I'm using tonight are from Micah Mania, um, from Avon Perry's company, who is the creator of your page, okay? Hey, Anita, my sister from another mother. I have missed you, my dear. I hope you're doing well. All right, so we're going to show you what we're going to use tonight, and then we're going to get started, okay? If you have any questions along the way, you send it in comments, and if I miss it, I do go back and read the comments and try and answer them, okay? So we have some really pretty colors, y'all. This is a lilac and some mica powder from Mica Mania, okay? Really pretty, has a great shimmer to it. When we use it, you'll get to see that. We're going to use Purple Rain. Okay, if they don't zoom in, I'll take pictures of them. I don't think that's focusing. Really pretty deep purple, okay. It is um, amazing. It's got shimmer. All of the mica powders, just realize, are have a shimmer to them, okay. And they're beautiful if you use them right. This is Her Majesty. I'm a purple and pink fanatic, if you haven't figured out. Okay, really pretty. And then we've got pink sand. Now, somebody's going to say pink sand doesn't make any sense. Why she's throwing pink in there? It's kind of a shade. It has a lot of purple tint to it. But when you put it on the cup, it is more the pink color. Okay? But it's gorgeous with these colors. Okay? And then the last, because I want to break up, I'm going to look at the shades here. I want to break this up a little bit. I'm going to use Seashell Love. Very pretty white. I've used a lot of this. 
but it's a white with a lot of shimmer to it, okay? I miss you, miss you, miss you all as well. I'm so glad everybody's doing good. I hope your son's doing amazing. I know he was into a new adventure, so I hope it's all going well for him, okay? All right, guys, not only are we going to use these mica powders, I like to live on the wild side a little bit. And like I said, I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to give it a go because I got this glitter from her called Magical Bliss, okay? I've got a little bitty hair, and it's like a mermaid shimmer. Y'all, this is gorgeous in the bright light and the sunshine. It's like purple, turquoise. It's beautiful, okay? So we are going to get that. We're going to get going. The Ladina, the seashell love is beautiful. I've seen it in some molds and stuff. And it's just a really pretty, like a pearl. She's got a bunch. I've got a whole basket over here of her stuff, like wedding bells. Um, it's called wedding bells. It's called wedding something. I had a bunch up here earlier. I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to use, but that's the one I picked. Now, just keep in mind, okay? We're hey, Miss Missy, Lord, there's everybody here. I feel like I'm at a family reunion, y'all. I get to see everybody. I am so excited. Missy, Missy does cups too. She lives real close to me, and we have a real close family. <laughs> Sorry, family connection. But I love that lady to death. She's a sweetheart, y'all. All right, so epoxy. Let's talk epoxy for a minute. There are so many kinds of epoxy out there. I've tried about all of them. I've been doing this a while. Um, I started with Amazing Clearcast, just keeping it real, getting it from Hobby Lobby, using my 40% off coupon because I was broke. I'm still broke, but it is what it is. But then I went to Pro Marine. I've used KS Resin. I've used DIY Epoxy, Counterculture, ALE. I'm trying to think of everything I got in here. Artist Resin. You name it, I've tried it, okay? What I'm going to do tonight... I used it the other day on my mermaid cup. Ladina's saying she used that glitter. Hey, Susie. Hope you're doing good. Um, I'm going to use the counterculture fast set. Now, let me tell you why I'm doing that. A lot of times with mica powders, you would want to use a regular epoxy. Okay? But because I'm throwing in this glitter, I kind of want things to slow down on the spin a little bit. And I actually may just change my mind right now. I just changed my mind because I'm using five mica powders and I want to be able to share with y'all and I want to do this a little bit slower than I would fast set. Has anybody used fast set before? Hey, Janitra, how are you? Um, fast set sets up in about 15 minutes, okay, which means it's hard um, and it's pretty much cured, okay? Now, I'll tell you what. I did a live about an hour and a half ago, okay? with this cup. And the only reason I'm sharing is I want somebody to see. I know there's a few people in this group I see now were there. Y'all, this is ready for me to put the flood coat on already. Dry to the touch. It's ready to go. I need to seal it, but other than that, it's ready. This is ready to go. I can touch it all over, okay? And that was about an hour ago. So this is ready for a flood coat. So when you use counterculture fast set, it sets up very quickly, which means in turn, you get very little working time, okay? I could actually do this cup with the counterculture fast set, and I want to because I want to add the glitter, but it has to sit there a little bit to add the glitter. Um, but my choice of epoxies are the ALE, but you can use any epoxy you want. ALE is called a little extra. It's a part A and part B. Super, super clear, plant-based, great company, wonderful people. It's all they sell is epoxy and um, casting mold epoxy but um i'll be thinking about the epoxy i'll let you know which one i throw up here okay i'm gonna think about it a half a second while i'm talking now with this mica powder they, they you're probably going if you've never used mica powder okay wow that was that's it just seen you do that cup yeah it's done this cup is done ladina all i gotta do is do the flood coat hey M lord miss rose i hope you're doing good miss rose I've been thinking about you. I'm very bad about contacting people, but I have been thinking about you. I hope you're doing well. Um, all right, guys. So, listen. Back to this. These look like little bottles. Y'all, these things last forever. I probably, out of that, have done 20 cups. Like, more, really. Like, this stuff lasts forever. A lot of people, if you've never used mica powder, you're a little bit unsure about them or a little scared of them. It doesn't take much of this colorant, and I'll, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you. Or if you haven't seen other lives, okay? Like really and truly, that is more than enough in what we're gonna do, okay? More than enough. Now these are the skinny popsicles, 
okay this pink sand is amazing i'll look i'm gonna book ladonna i don't know if ladonna's here or not but avon i got it on my eye eyeshadow i use it for, use it for eyeshadow <laughs> don't tell anybody that's my secret okay but this is the pink sand it does not take much to color so what i'm gonna do i've got my measuring cups i'm using five different colors crazy i know but I like to play with a bunch of stuff, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of mica powder that I showed you, and it may look like more because I flattened it out, but I'm gonna put it in each cup. Doesn't matter the colors that I'm putting in there right now. Hopefully I'll remember when we get ready to put them on. You'll be able to see. But I'm gonna put my little bit of measured mica in each medicine cup, okay? Then I'll show you what it looks like. Some people are using these big, wonderful silicone cups like these. And that's great for your big pour that you're going to do with your epoxy. But the measuring cups, you really have to have, you have to have something to separate these, okay? Because you don't want, you know, you don't want to waste a big cup for these. And I'll show you when we mix epoxy. I'm going to mix way more than I need because I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the counterculture. Um, I'm going to show you how fast it sets up. The chemical reaction that happens okay I'm gonna show you how fast y'all look at this color it is beautiful it's purple rain it's amazing it's almost when you look at it looks like a royal blue but it's beautiful oh my gosh this is pretty 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 so I'm just all I'm doing right now is just measuring out what I need in my little cups and then I'll show you the little cups okay I thought you I thought you did the colors were so close they are pretty close. They are pretty close in color, but you would be surprised the little different shades. Then when I add the pearl, or the, excuse me, the seashell love, it'll kind of break it up a little bit because I do my whites a little different. And you'll see what I'm talking about just to kind of change up the shades. I'm gonna do a little bit more seashell love because I don't feel like I have enough in there. I'm gonna show you, it's not much y'all, and it's gonna change the color of your epoxy. Like, that's more than enough. See how much is in there? So that looks like a lot, but it's flat. So there's very little. This is that pink sand. Beautiful, but it has that purple sheer, okay? I thought you did the color. Oh, I read that one. I'm sorry. Beautiful color. All right. Hey, Miss Kathy, I saw you. You just went up. Sorry, I missed you. One of my favorites. All right, guys. So I've got five measuring cups. All that stuff's measured out. To keep from um, wasting popsicle sticks, you can use the metal stirrers, guys. They've got these out there. If you're doing large stuff, I know I've seen because um, Candace do it. I've got these big, large silicone mold sticks to stir up when I'm doing something really, really big. Um, some people say, what is better to stir with? I've heard if you stir with, I don't know what happened to that. Have you ever seen anything like that? Um, that when you use wood sticks, you get more micro bubbles. Is that true? Um, I can say I've tried it. I didn't get the notification. I'm sorry, Miss Ann. I am so sorry. I'm, that's my fault. I should have tagged everybody, and I think I didn't. I was inhaling dinner <laughs> and trying to get in here on time. I was actually five minutes late, so I apologize very much. Um, popsicle sticks can cause some aeration in your epoxy. I have tried it with popsicle sticks. I've tried it with everything, okay? Okay. The important thing to know is this. <clears throat> micro bubbles you don't want on a cup, okay? When you're doing mica powders or you're doing alcohol inks, I'll show you this cup for instance, okay? Some of you may have already seen this. I posted it, so it's not like it's a big deal. I'm trying not to make a complete mess right now because this is a really long cup. But if I had micro bubbles in this cup, you would be able to see them significantly. It actually hazes your color, okay? You wouldn't think it would, and especially on super shiny glitter. When I do the flood coat on this, you have to have all the micro bubbles out or it's going to haze your color, okay? Hey, y'all, I see Sherry. Welcome, welcome. So when you have micro bubbles, you want to make sure you're getting all of these out. You can get them out two ways. Mix super slow. Try not to cause many micro bubbles. You can apply a little heat to your mix. Now, I'm going to use the fast set, so I don't really have time to heat it and sit there and play with it and wait because it's going to cure on me if I don't okay hey miss Heather I need to probably mix a little slower I'm going to use some heat on my cup to make sure that I get the micro bubbles out okay um but y'all it's really important some people think 
If you're doing this cup and applying glitter, don't worry about your micro bubbles because your glitter covers it. You don't want a big bubble, you know, just heat it up a little bit, but it's not really gonna matter on a cup that you're applying glitter to. It does for alcohol inks and it does for mica powders and it definitely does on a flood coat. When you do a flood coat like this to cover your glitter, okay, you have to get those micro bubbles out because you're gonna see them in the silver. You'll see little tiny micro bubbles over top of your glitter. So just think about that. For this, I am going to work really a little bit slower than normal. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Will y'all please pray for my mother? She isn't doing well. Yes, ma'am, Heather. Send me a private message and tell me her name. I have a huge, um, huge family. And we, we do that often. Um, every day, actually. So send me her name and I'll make sure I pass that along to my prayer warriors. Okay. So what I'm doing now is just popping a couple popsicle sticks. I am gonna use popsicle sticks. I don't like to waste, so I'm gonna break them in half, okay? Then I'm gonna to go to my epoxy, and I am gonna use the counterculture, so I'll tell you a little bit about that. They have another type. I'm not sure if they've actually completely discontinued, but it's in a purple bottle. I've got some, but it's way over there. But the purple label, if they sell that, just know that that's their first fast set they ever make. I think they've already taken it off the market, but I'm not sure. The blue is their most recent, okay? It's a part A and part B, like most epoxies are. Um, this is called Ultra Clear, okay? I don't know what this is on the front. It looks like some alcohol ink, but it's Ultra Clear Epoxy, okay? When you mix these two together, it's equal parts, but they say that you can use it for a final coat, but... It doesn't have as much UV protected in it as some of the other epoxies. I don't personally use it for uh, uh, the last coat. I do use it for first coat and flood coat, okay? If I'm doing a white tumbler, something similar to this, I don't. Now, let me just tell you why. Because eventually, this cup will be in the sun. It's going to be in somebody's car. It'll be outside at pool parties, whatever. I don't want to take a gamble with this cup looking yellow in six months for my customer. So I don't. Now, I'm not saying these get yellow. Please understand. I'm just saying they don't have as much protectant as some of the other epoxies out there. They do have some. You're going to hear my dogs. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. They're going to be so loud. Does it give off a smell? Amazing Clear Cast actually, to me, has more of a smell than any epoxy out there. That's just a personal thing, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna, I might have to shut the door. I'm hoping they'll stop. Um, probably one of my grandchildren outside playing. But this doesn't have a smell. It actually smells like peanut butter to me. Can y'all hear those dogs? This is ridiculous. Um, Ariel, let's see, love my pumpkin, LOL. Oh, they're all out there, Missy. Lord, I got all of Justin's babies here. There's five of them outside jumping, and the dogs are going crazy, so one of them must be trying to get in the house. Vince shut the door on them. My husband did. So this is what we're going to use. Now, keep in mind, if they don't stop in about 30 more seconds, guys, I promise I'll go shut the craft room door, but I think they're stopping. Um, I got three little dogs. They're all little rescue dogs, but they are crazy. They are crazy. You can ask Miss Missy. Woo. We're going to see if they're going to stop. All right. So, we are going to use the clear cast. I'm going to shut this door real quick. Sorry. I'm getting up again. This is rude. Pumpkin. That's enough. Thank you. They're human. You may still hear them a little bit. We're locked in the craft room now. I apologize. But they're crazy. She's barking at the door now. All right, guys. Sounds like mine. <laughs> they are sweeties. Poor Missy. She used to have to come with a dog bone every time she came. Bless her heart. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and mix some epoxy. Now, remember, if you've been doing this a while, you don't need to hear this. But if you're kind of new, you may need a reminder, okay? they You have to measure these really equal. You can eyeball it to a certain extent if you've been doing it forever. But if you're, if you're just kind of starting out, make sure you're make, mixing this by your measurements on the cups, okay? That's why they come, not being sarcastic or anything, I promise, but that's why they have the lines. If you're off, now I'm a retired, I'm a, reti I'm a retired medical, I'm a retired nurse, pretty much, and you, if you're off one milliliter, one cc, which is not much, and you put it on this cup, your cup may be sticky in about six, eight hours, if you're using regular epoxy. For me, the regular epoxy sits up in six hours. 
If my cup is still sticky in about eight hours, I know I did something wrong. Just keeping it real, okay? This stuff sets up in about 15 minutes in my house. I can use it and do my next task for the cup in about an hour. If it's still sticky after an hour, it's in your mixing. Can be in the humidity. Normally this time of year, you don't have that problem. Or it can be in the temperature in your house. Now my house stays at about 60 degrees, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's going to be one of three. Now I'm mixing way more than I need. Somebody's going to say, oh my God, she's making um, 60 milliliters of epoxy. But I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it for y'all's benefit because I want to show you what this does in about 15 minutes, okay? I do not know what those dogs are doing. I've never heard them act that crazy. I guess we'll know in a minute. I got enough people in the backyard to pull down Fort Knox. There ain't nobody in the front yard. All right, so I have got this 30 and 30, which is way more than you need. For this cup to do mica powder on it, you could probably do it with about, because we got five micas, 10, with about 30 to, I'd say about 30 milliliters of epoxy. That sounds like a lot, but you got to have enough epoxy to get it spinning. I hope that makes sense to you guys, okay? To fix the sticky, put the cup in the freezer, freeze it, and reapply the epoxy on the frozen cup worked for me. I've never tried that, Ariel. It may may definitely work. I've never tried it, um, but if I ever have spare time, I try, I'll try anything. I really will, because all I can do is learn from it. It's either going to work great, and there's no problem. Or it'll have a problem. The only thing I can say about a sticky cup, I'll tell you something that did happen to me. I had a sticky cup one time. It wasn't real, real bad. And I went ahead and just put the top layer of epoxy on it. Um, just went ahead with the next step. And it actually turned out well, and I haven't had the cup return. But I had one that was a little more sticky than it should have been. And I went ahead and put that top layer of epoxy on it, just thinking it might set or fix it somehow. And the man brought it back to me in about a month and said it started to lift. It had nothing to do with the prepping, but it, it did have a problem. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's always good to experiment with your stuff, especially because that way you kind of know when the customer comes back to you and says, I've had this problem or that problem. Because some people told me the other day, a girl told me the other day, she's been doing cups about six months, and she's never prepped a cup. And I said, girl, I got away with it for a little while when I first started because I didn't know how important it was. But one day, it's going to uh, crack at the seam or at the top, and they're going to get water under it, and the whole cup's going to peel. I promise you it's going to happen. You just the, the prep is very important, and a lot of people don't believe in it. Some people are using the pre-colored cups and not sanding them. So just kind of keep that in mind, okay? Saves me from stripping. You're exactly right, Ariel. I'm telling you, stripping, I got a whole box of cups in there I got to strip. A whole box. Um, there's probably 30 cups <laughs> My husband says, what are you doing with all these cups? So I'm just going to take them to the craft fair. I had to story tell about it because they're really going to be stripped. <laughs> I played and tried to do a another cup one day and then did this cup the other day. And we've been hydro dipping this morning just to see if we can do it. I've done a few, but they weren't great. Like I thought they'd turn out like something amazing. Y'all, I found this vinyl paper at Hobby Lobby the other day. I had to buy it and I don't use this kind of stuff unless I'm doing lettering. But I was thinking it would turn out to look like that when I did it, and it, it didn't. <laughs> so, it's in the scrap pile. And see, how did you get that cup? This is just a spray paint I found. And talking about spray paints, if you're new, y'all, I used to use the Walmart 96 cent paint. I can't remember what it's called, Color Guard or something like that. And I'm going to tell you, when I first started out, I, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. And it took two or three coats to get my coat of paint right. So, if you are new... Please invest in some good paint. Rust-Oleum 2X, the paint and primer, is a great, great paint because you can do it in one, one spray, okay? If I got any kind of color you can imagine. So just consider investing in that little extra money on your paint for your base paint, okay? I typically work with one glove, okay? So what I'm going to do out of this big cup of epoxy, I'm adding epoxy to each one of my mica powders, Okay? Once I get it added, and as we'll stir it, I'll be bringing it up so you can see, okay? So let me get it all poured. This is the tedious part. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. If you were in the last live I did today, I apologize if this is a repeat story, but it is kind of funny. When I first started using counterculture, 
I had heard word of mouth. I was actually using the regular resin, okay, a regular epoxy. I wasn't using the fast set, but I had ordered some. And I had heard it set up pretty fast, and I had a cup that had to be out in like five days. Because you know you got to sit on these cups for three days to let them harden before you put them in the mail. Or you're going to wind up sending a dented cup to your customer because by the time it gets there, it's going to have marks in it. But anyway, I had worked with it on a live. Now, I used to do lives in my kitchen because we bought a house since then. Doesn't make me any better than anybody else, trust me, just because I got a craft room. But I used to do lives in the kitchen. We had a good time. I had the rabbit in there, had my grandbabies in there. Yeah, I had a rabbit in my kitchen. But that's just, that's the funny part. So I did the, did the fast set. I set it to the side. I was talking to the people and reading the comments. And I'm about blind, so I have to look over my glasses to read. And out of the corner of my eye, I see smoke. Now, I've got all these children in my house. And I lived in a little bitty trailer. Little bitty single wide. Old trailer. And all I kept thinking is, we fixing to die. So I told my older granddaughter who lived with me at the time, get me a cup of water. And she started laughing. She got the cup of water and brought it to me. And I dropped the epoxy cup right in the water. Because I didn't want everybody on the live to know what was going on. Well, it turns out when it does its chemical reaction, A and B, once it starts getting hard, it'll smoke a little bit. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought we had had a full-blown fire in the kitchen. We were all going to have to evacuate the house. But anyway, so I've added all this in here. I'm sticking a stick in it because I'm not done with it. Okay, I'm going to mix these up real quick, and then we're going to be working pretty fast. So this is that, I think this was the Purple purple Majesty. I'm going to put these up, okay? I'm going to take a picture of the jars that I'm using and let you see how pretty they are. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. This is the Seashell Love. So I'm just going to mix it up and get my colors all ready for what I'm going to do. When this goes on, you're going to love this color. It has a lot of shimmer to it. It's beautiful. It's like pearlescent. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And this is one of those other coolers. This is the pink sand, I can tell you right now. Because it kind of has like a purple tint, but it's pink shimmer. And it is gorgeous. Okay. I had to wait for that one. I didn't get on the board, the order train quick enough when she first came out with that. And I had to wait for it. But y'all, it's worth it. It's beautiful. This is, um, this is either Her Majesty or the Lilac. This is Her Majesty, I'm pretty sure, because this is the darker of the two. So that's beautiful. And then I got one more color. This is the Her Majesty. Okay. So we're just mixing them up right now, okay, because we're going to get going. We're going to work really fast, because remember, I am using this fast set epoxy, so I've got about 15 minutes of work time. Okay, all right. For my base, I need a little, I need a good little base on this cup, okay? So I'm gonna kind of run this over really fast. I don't use a whole lot. It looks like a lot. You can apply your epoxy any way you want, okay? There's no particular rhyme or reason as to what's good and what's bad. I'm gonna leave the stick in the epoxy because I'm gonna show you something when we're done with this. My thing is wanting to rock. I think I got it sitting on something. I like to rub it up and down, and then I'll actually get it warm to help spread it a little better, okay? That looks crazy, I know. But I work kind of fast, so I'm going to heat it a little bit. You get this stuff warm, it's super easy to work with. Remember, I don't have a whole lot on my cup. I do want to put maybe a touch more on here. The reason being is I want these colors to be able to flow together. Okay. I'm going to that off. I'm going to add just a touch more. I think I'll do it with my finger. That'll be a little easier. If I can put it where I need it. You want the colors to be able to flow. Alcohol inks and mica powders both have to flow. Okay. They have to be able to be on a surface that you can kind of work with if you want them to rub right. So we're going to do this. Make sure it's rubbed in really good. We're going to go back and pop these bubbles that you see forming. Counterculture is very good. Even their regular resin, if you haven't used it, the bubbles are super easy to pop. They actually come to the surface by themselves. Let's see if anybody's saying anything. How much epoxy in each cup? I put about a total of 10. Total of 10 epoxy in each cup, okay? Um, but I'm using five colors. You do not have to use that many colors. I just get crazy. Like, I think about all the colors I like and 
how many pretty colors she has and I love all these purples and I'm hoping it's gonna look really pretty plus I'm putting this glitter on there okay started watching you you remind me of my aunt well thank you I think that's hope that's a good thing I'm not from Texas I'm actually from South Carolina I used to be from a town called Pickens South Carolina which is near Greenville or Clemson if you watch college football I was from near Clemson and now I live in Liberty I like the Liberty Bell. But I'm South Carolina. I was born in Michigan, but you can't tell. So I'm just going back over, popping these few bubbles you see that have risen to the top. Okay. We are going to be applying a little bit of heat to the cup now, which helps with the spread of the mica powders as we put them on. Because if your base is warm, they start to work their way, work their magic, is what I call it. It's exactly what it is, is magic. I think. I personally like to start with my darker colors, I guess, because I always end with the white. Let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, same questions. All right, let's see what we got. Ann said, what color is the cup? I think it's a lilac spray paint, okay? All right, so we're gonna get busy, guys, because I don't wanna run out of time. So what I do with mine, you can do it any way you want. I like to apply mine on diagonally. It doesn't matter how perfect it looks, what it looks like, okay? I may have it a little bit thick. I like to just put mine on like this. In the end, sometimes it'll matter, sometimes it won't. If you're doing a Milky Way, definitely it matters. But the type of cup I'm doing today, it's really not gonna matter how I put this on. If I wanna put it on like this, guys, you can, okay? So don't get freaked out. I don't want anybody to go, I don't wanna work with mica powders. I don't know how to do it, or I'm, I'm scared of it. Don't be scared, okay? If you mess it up, make it a peekaboo, okay? This heat gun, somebody's asked me what type of heat gun I'm using. This heat gun was actually my husband's. It was in his building outside that he used to do decals on um, business trucks, and I stole it. But you can buy heat. You can actually use your hair dryer. I started out with my hair dryer, or I'll show you something else. Um, the torch. A lot of people probably talk about torches. And what I'm doing now is making sure I get some of this mica powder on the bottom. I do not tape the bottom or the top of my cups. I used to because I didn't know what to do with it. But then I got to thinking, all right, I'm charging X dollars for this cup. I want them to get the most out of their money. So I started doing the bottoms of my cups and the tops. So that's about all I'm going to do with this. I'm going to set it to the side. Let me see. Somebody said something. I have tried Crystalac. Um, somebody's saying their other half lives in South Carolina. I have tried Crystalac. I liked it. I just got to, used to using some of the other products. And for my temperature in my house and time constraints, um, different things like that. I live in South Carolina. There's a lot of humidity here. I just started, I kind of stick to a couple couple different epoxies and that's about all I use. I definitely use the counterculture. Definitely use ALE. It just works great for my house. And um, I have used... Um, the, I have some KS resin here. I still have a lot of every color here, every kind here. Now, DIY epoxy has a really great epoxy if you're a mold person. Have anybody ever put a fingernail in some of your epoxy to see if it's hardened, if it's actually fully cured? That DIY epoxy, I'm going to tell you what, in six or eight hours, you can't put a nail in it. I have never seen epoxy that hard. So for a mold, I can only imagine it would be great. So this is my second color, guys, okay? I'm just putting it on anywhere. I'm not even paying attention really where I'm putting it on. Just making sure I get it in spots so that I see a gap. I'll make sure I get a little bit on the bottom. And I just dab it on. And then we're gonna go to the next color because I got a lot of colors, okay? And remember, you gotta work fast. Now this looks like the pink sands and on this purple cup, it's gorgeous. Just wanna make sure I get it everywhere. Mainly in places that I haven't already put epoxy. Because you really do want to cover. You see what a mess I'm making, right? Somebody's going to say, this is ridiculous. This girl's on here trying to teach us something. Y'all, I've made a ton of mistakes with cups. And I used to try to be so perfect with placement. Now, certain things you do have to be perfect with placement. I mean, everybody knows that. But this is where the fun comes in. You could be sitting in here talking to your girlfriend doing stuff. As long as when the important times you're paying attention, like heating it, you don't want to scorch it. You can't scorch your epoxy. You're going to have a, it'll make a mess. But this is to have fun. Like you've got to have fun with this stuff. If I don't like it and I don't think I can turn it into a peekaboo, 
I'll put it in the strip box. I've lost some material, lost a little bit of epoxy, but I don't want to sell somebody something that I, you know, that I don't think is pretty. Or I'll send the, the customer, I've got epoxy all over my nails. I'll send the customer a picture and say, do you like it? And if I don't like it, usually they don't like it, but I'll, I'll instantly redo it. It doesn't hurt my feelings. You know, you can usually tell you've got a great eye. You've been doing this a while and having a ball at it. Y'all, these colors are so pretty. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. This is really pretty. That pink in here really kind of pops with that shimmer. But wait till you see at the end. And somebody's going to say, I cannot believe she did that. But you'll see. I actually am going to put more of that dark purple on here. Just because it is getting kind of light. But that dark is really pretty. I want to put some dark in here. See where it's kind of nothing right there? Okay. Put some of this on the bottom. The bottom doesn't require a lot of mica. Okay. Because when you heat it, there's very little surface area for it to go. Okay. So I'm going to put it that. This is that little bit of blue or the dark. That actually it. I used all the dark. I'm just going to put a little bit of this. It is still dark. Put it there. Where else did I see there? Right here. That's where I need it. We'll catch it as it comes around. There you go. All right, so it's a mess, right? It's a total mess. Now, I'm gonna get it warm. I'm kind of watching it to see what it looks like. Now, when you get it warm, I got a huge bubble coming here. This is the how the counterculture does. It raises those um, air bubbles to the top for you, okay? All right, yes, yeah, somebody, Anna's saying make a Milky Way out of it if you mess it up, absolutely. This could be a Milky, there, Miss Greta. You can make this a Milky Way of heartbeat. And, and, and like I said, the biggest thing when you're doing mica powders or alcohol inks is you've got to be consistent with your heat. If I kept this heat in one area of this cup to get the swirl, and you're going to start seeing it move, it's starting to move slowly, you're going to scorch your epoxy or your alcohol inks. And y'all, it's a mess when you scorch. I'll show you kind of what happened to me on a cup the other day. I was paying attention to them grandbabies. They were all running around in this crap room. And y'all, there's not much surface space in here. I've got a dry spot right there. I don't know if anybody can see it. The way you fix a dry spot, I'm not going to put any clear on it. I'm going to put a touch of this pearl because I haven't even applied pearl. But I want to cover up that dry spot because if you don't, you will not be able to put anything on it. Now, somebody's going to say she just touched her cup with that stick. It's not going to matter. But anything you see dry, please put something on it. There's a little dry spot. Because if you don't, you're not going to get anything to stick there. Okay? So let's get this moving. Keep your heat moving. That's the most important. Now, remember what I said. Mica powders do not like to attach themselves to the bottom or the rim of the cup. So, with this base color here, it's going to help a whole lot because it's going to look like it melts and flows better together. So, keep that in mind. If you're going to do blue mica powders or pink, consider changing up your paints to one of those colors in your selection, okay? I'm going to work like right here. Let's see if I can get them to swirl. May or may not throw some glitter on here. This turned out really pretty, but we're going to swirl it. Now, see, looking at it now, it doesn't matter exactly where I put the stripes of mica powders for this particular way to do a cup. Now, it would if you were doing a, mar a Milky Way um, because you would want your stripes to be in a different angle. But for this style of cup, really, you could put them anywhere and they all blend together. Now, see, I've got some more dry spots. So that's why I saved my pearl for the last. I want to get it a little bit warmer, and I'm going to show you why. Once I put the white on, I'm not going to touch this cup anymore, unless I see a huge bubble, okay? So I'm going to warm it up really good. I've got a dry spot here, and I've got a couple dry spots here. Once I get it warm, and I add this pearl, I'm not going to touch it anymore. Got a little bit warm here. Reason I know it's because the colors are just kind of melting into one color. So I'm going to add this pearl in this hole. Okay, that's going to blend, I promise. Pearl in that hole, pearl in that hole. These are the dry spots you can get. I got air bubbles coming from my seam. Okay, this cup is warm enough that it's going to take this pearl and start blending in with the purple, okay? 
It's got a wet dry spot there. A little dry spot there. I'm just trying to get it to melt in. You're going to start seeing this pearl show up. But if your cup's warm enough, you don't want to apply any more heat. Okay? It's going to kind of spin on its own. I want to lighten up this bottom. I got a little bit warm and I got that purple streak in right there. I usually make a little more pearl, put a little bit more epoxy in my pearl color than I would in the other colors. Because if you happen to get it a little dark, which I didn't, but you can add this pearl and it really starts to lighten the cup up a little bit. The pearl is beautiful in there. I'll find me a hole to dip this last little bit in. We'll pick right here. And it'll melt in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to take a peek at the comments. You can bump it with heat. If it stops flowing, stop flowing right in here. I'm going to give it a minute more because it's still flowing right there. And we'll take a peek at it. So it's kind of like alcohol ink. I'm not so nervous to try it now. Good, Ariel. I was trying to figure out if it was mine or not. Mm, that's Kelly asking me a question. I am so sorry. You need to change your smoke alarm back. Oh, it is beeping, isn't it? See, you get so used to it. I am so sorry for that. Who said that? Um, Cody. Yeah, somebody, I, I actually, I do need to change it. It started not long ago. And I think Missy, if she's still on here, her husband sent my husband a message and told him he needed to change my smoke detector battery. And we still haven't done it because I haven't been in the craft room since then. So all I'm doing is bumping it with a little bit of heat. You get that pearl just to swirl just a hair more. It kind of stopped. It got stagnant. Okay. But y'all, these colors are beautiful. The bottom is gorgeous. The purple, where I painted it, if you look, you can still see the base color of the cup. You can still see down here at the rim. Okay. So that's the reason for the base color. It blends a little better. Okay. All right, so let's see. Would you do the same process? Yes. With alcohol inks, the same thing, okay? That's what this cup is. So what I did, and I was going to show you about scorching. Can you see how pretty these colors just kind of melt together and stand up? This is really pretty, but it's really, really dark, and there's not the pretty stuff to it. I got it too hot down here, just keeping it real, and it just turned into one color, okay? But this is an alcohol ink cup. So I did this the same way I did this. I applied the epoxy, got it really warm, started adding my alcohol inks, and hit the heat. And then I do a drizzle, kind of like the pearl, but I do it of this glitter after it's done rolling, if that makes sense. So same process, okay? Now I'm looking at this cup. I'm kind of peeking. I do see two little spots that um, one's here. It's very dry right there. And then there was one more tiny one up here somewhere. Don't freak out over that. If you don't like it and you have a little drop of epoxy left in one of your cups, you can bump it there if you want. What I have found mm -hmm. is I like the exact amount of swirl I have. So if I put a dot on that, it may mess up the look or the aesthetic. It'll look like a dot there unless you add more heat. So I'm probably going to leave that alone. Or you can take a popsicle stick. Gently, you got to be really careful. And when it comes around, just kind of lay it on it and pull it over. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to come back around. You will have to bump it with heat one time because this stuff's already setting up. Okay, so all I'm doing is covering that hole up. Now, I don't know if you can see this epoxy, but it's already setting up hard. So I can't play with that hole too much. That's plenty. Because I can bump that out, okay? I'm going to wait for it to come around. You'll see it. I'm going to show you where it is. It's right here. I'm going to hit it with the heat. Just to get it warm enough to kind of close back over. Right there. But it fixed it. See? Okay? Now, I'm going to show you this. It's not quite there. This stuff is going to get warm. So, you saw the process of the time we spent doing this. By the time I get, if I decide to do this glitter, I want to make sure that it is not hot. You can kind of hover your hand over. Still warm where I just applied the heat. I really, really, really wanted to put this glitter on there. But I don't know what to do. Hmm. I don't know whether to live on the wild side and sprinkle some glitter in a different way in just a few little spots or leave it like that. I'm going to let y'all decide. 
Let's see what anybody says. Hey, Miss Valerie. Selena, I thought it was smoke alarm. Yeah, exactly, Selena. I told y'all my story about counterculture. Now my smoke alarm's going off. No, the battery's dead. It's dead. We keep this room closed off because dogs come in here and they want to drag my, they have drug my glitter bags into the living room and destroyed them. So we keep it closed now. But let's see. Somebody's saying sprinkle it. Glitter it, baby. All right, we're going to do it. And I'm going to think about, I didn't even open this one. This is my brand new one. I had another one. This, this stuff is beautiful, y'all. I'm going to try and think if I want to keep it as, I don't know if I want to make it dimensional or just sprinkle it in places. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, let's see what everybody's saying. A little epoxy, put a little epoxy. Yeah, I could do that. I could put it in my epoxy at the end if y'all wanted to. Hold it and sprinkle it with your fingers. Um, there's a, a lot of different ways. Let's see what I'm going to do. Can't make up my mind what I want to do. I think I'll just do a few pinches because this stuff is beautiful. I think that's all I'm going to do, some pinches. So we're just going to sprinkle it over in a couple places. Now remember, this chunky has some, oh, I got a lot right there, has some fine glitter in it and chunky, okay? But it has the turquoise to kind of offset all the purple, but it does have the purple. And if we mess it up, y'all, you know what? We messed it up. This is going to either be a personal cup or go to the craft fair with me and see if it can sell or I, I sell it to personalize, okay? Either way, I have some people who have bought the cups just like they are with no name on them, and I got some people that want me to bring them back and personalize them. So, that's actually really pretty. Hmm. It's actually really pretty. I think my husband came to the door a while ago. He's probably wondering what I've done because I've been doing lives all day. All right, guys, I'm going to throw some on the bottom. Remember, always decorate your bottom and have fun. I'm just chunking it to the bottom. A lot of it went right there. It'd be okay. But if y'all, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> it's just a pinch. I'm not worried about wasting it. But I think that's enough. What do y'all think? Just so you can still see the colors. But it's still got some pretties in it. What do y'all think? I think that's good. All right, we're going to call it quits. I'm going to put this back in there. We use very little. I got very little on my paper. It's not worth even pulling up and shaking to check it. Okay. How much do you sell this for? This right here, if they didn't want a name on it and they wanted it like this, and of course I put the top coat on it and I cleaned the rim up and everything. This cup, it's a 40 ounce. So it's a good bit of epoxy. But me personally, I probably, as is, $35. If it's being shipped, of course, it's eight more dollars. I haven't made it to the pirate ship or the shipping What's the other one? You ship it or whatever. I don't know how to do all that. I'm just keeping it real. I don't have a machine here. So I just send it USPS. Plus I get tracking and insurance. So if you don't get your cup or somebody steals your cup, it covers your cup and I can make you a new one. Does that make sense? I just kind of stick to the old fashioned. I guess I'm too old. Scooter just came in from work and heard the fire alarm. <laughs> I was telling them just now, Missy, that your husband told my husband to change it. Color of glitter. Miss Susie wants to know. This is Micah Mania. It's called Magical Bliss. Okay, and it is beautiful. It's a color transition. It's kind of like purple and turquoise. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, on top of the mica powders that I used. And I'm going to post that at the top of the live when we're done. Okay, Ann says she'd buy it if I should. Ann, I might just send it to you. You don't never know. <laughs> she, Ann is one of our admins, guys, for the group. So y'all say hey to her. And then Mary says it's beautiful. Thank you so much. All right. Y'all, this was fun. Like I said, you can add more stuff to this. When this dries, you put your coat on. I got some chunky sitting up, but I don't want to touch it because y'all know my hands shake. If you don't, I do have a trimmer. So on this cup, I'm afraid to touch anything. But of course, I put a final, I mean, I put another coat on it, and that's when I would do my decaling. So if somebody, if somebody wanted to have mermaids on this, or if you wanted, I'm real big on doing rhinestone stuff too. So you could put rhinestone bubbles in it. You could do the big old mermaid and somebody's name on it. You could do all kinds of stuff to this cup, okay? So just, just remember, this this could be anything or you could leave it like it is, all right? So again, my name's Bridget, okay? If y'all need me, you, you send me a personal message. I'm an admin on this page too. I just, sometimes I, I get carried away with a lot of other stuff. But um, if you need anything, just send me a message. I do like to tell people something at the end of my lives. I do it on everyone, so please don't take offense. But 
we all bleed the same. So just keep in mind that everybody goes through something every day. You have no idea what everybody goes through and, and, and I can only imagine. Um, my life is great, but it doesn't mean it is all the time. So if you see somebody with their head down, or they look like they're having a bad day, if you'll just walk up to them and say, your hair looks great today. I love that dress. That color looks great on you. There's that great tie. You would be surprised the way it changes people. Okay, just keep that in mind. It's not something you have to do, but it does make a difference in your own heart too. Okay, so that's all I want to say. I hope y'all have a great night. It was a pleasure joining y'all. This is that counterculture. I wanted to show you real quick before we leave. Y'all look, I'm going to pull it out for you. The time we spent, it's, it's still sticky, but it's done. Like, that's a solid piece. Okay? Super hot. It's doing its thing. It'll be ready in about 30 minutes. Okay? I'll link everything. I'll link everything at the top of the, the live, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.